approaching storm, just what people in parts of New Jersey do not want to hear about. Some neighborhoods still underwater tonight from Tuesday's storm. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim live in Patterson. Stefan. Well, Sandra, to give you a sense of the flooding out here, we wanted to show you this street behind me. After Ida, I stood on this street, but about two blocks further in, the flooding this time around doesn't seem to be as high, but it does seem to be more widespread. In Patterson tonight, you could hear it. The frustration, the exhaustion. Here we go again. As of like this year, this is the second time it's been this bad. Residents on this block say this is the worst flooding they've seen since Ida. I'm moving my car. Uh, I heard that the floods was going to get higher and I don't want to lose my vehicle. You wake up, the electricity shot. Yeah. <laughs> now you got to wait for them to repair the electricity. You're in a hotel. It's very inconvenient. Wasn't much better in Lincoln Park, where an eight foot tall Santa was abandoned by his reindeer. The Pompton River overspilled its bank last night, over 20 feet of flooding. I worry, honestly, that one of these days a giant sinkhole is going to swallow up all these homes. Attention, flooding is imminent. Evacuate the area now. And over in Little Falls, not exactly what they had in mind when they called it a lakeside view. And imagine instead of getting trapped in your home by water, you were stuck in the water, unable to get home. Governor Murphy, though, on the ground here today announcing help is on the way. $10 million to elevate or buy out flood insured properties most heavily impacted by flooding last month. We're going to turn over every stone we can, whether it's state money, county, but perhaps, guys. Uh, and the biggest bucket of money in, in all this is, is going to be the feds. Meanwhile, back in Patterson, Newscopter 7 showing widespread destruction. Six people were rescued this morning from this shuttle bus. Yesterday, when you said the night before, we had 12 at rescue operations. Why? You had localized flooding and you had people disregarding the barricades and driving right into the water. And so I just want to underscore the importance of turn around, don't drown. Now back here live, you're looking at the flooding by the bridge. Under this bridge is the Passaic River, which of course is overflowing. You heard officials just there pleading with drivers not to drive through these barricades. In the past hour or so, we've seen at least half a dozen motorists attempt this. Some of them made it, some of them had to turn around.